the Magic Pony, a famous Russian story. Not so long ago, deep in the Russian countryside, there lived a young boy by the name of Ivan. I'll catch you this time. It seems that night after night, someone or something had been sneaking into the wheat fields belonging to Ivan's family and trampling all of the new wheat. So on this star-filled night, Ivan had decided to hide and wait for the mysterious intruder to appear. Suddenly, appearing from out of the stars came a magnificent white stallion. for the grain you ruined. The stallion seemed to be hanging his head in shame and apologizing for all the trouble he had caused. Ivan was a very kind-hearted boy and soon decided to forgive him. The white stallion was very grateful, so he decided to give Ivan three horses to sell in the marketplace to pay for the grain he had destroyed. As soon as Ivan reached the town, the people began to gather round to stare at the two magnificent white horses he was leading. They were a perfectly matched pair, and two of the best trained horses in the valley. But the strange looking pony that Ivan was leading drew nothing but laughter and teasing from the crowd. And no wonder. It had ears like a jackrabbit, and two humps on its back like a camel. They had never seen such a strange looking animal. The strange little pony seemed to realize they were laughing at him. I don't care if your ears are a little long and that your back is so bent that you look like a camel. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. I still like you. Ivan was right. The pony should not have been ashamed of the way he looked because he had something no other pony could match. The gift of magic. Meanwhile, news of Ivan's magnificent white horses spread throughout the land and he was soon summoned to appear before the ruler of all the land. The wicked ruler knew that he had to have those horses. Don't you dare to ask money from your ruler. You know that all you own, you owe to me. But your highness, I just... That's enough. Guards, throw this peasant and his funny-looking mule oh, off of here. Oh, what the... Oh, ow. oh, my, what a terrible ruler. But at least Ivan still had his magic pony. Ivan, it'll be all right. Ivan, Ivan, please come back. Those horses have gone wild. You've got to stop them. There, there. It's all right. Easy, boy. Easy. And so the wicked ruler had no choice but to hire Ivan and his magic pony to look after his stables. Well, how do you like them? They are the handsomest horses in the land. If you like them, I shall give them to you. The cruel ruler had fallen in love with a very beautiful princess, and he was ready to buy her anything to win her love. Princess, I'll give you anything you wish. The princess told him that she must have a bird from the sun. Did she say a sunbird? That's right. The ruler ordered Ivan and his pony to leave at once to find a sunbird for the princess. Ivan did not understand that the princess had chosen something she knew that the ruler could never find. And if he could not find it, she knew that she would not have to marry him. And so Ivan set out with a bag of corn on his shoulder to find a magic sunbird. It was getting dark, when suddenly, there in the distance, there was a bright glow that could only mean one thing, a sunbird. Hold on tight, 
We'd better hurry before it gets away. With that, the magic pony soared into the air and came down behind a rock overlooking the lake where the sunbirds were feeding. The pony covered the corn with a magic potion and told Ivan to throw it down to the sunbirds. The flock of sunbirds flew quickly away. But the sunbird that had eaten of the magical corn found that he could no longer fly. And he was an easy catch for Ivan. Gotcha! Just as you ordered. The princess told him that she could not give her hand in marriage so easily and asked for one more present. It was a ring, but no ordinary ring because it lay at the bottom of the sea guarded by a giant whale. The ruler quickly ordered Ivan and his pony to bring her the ring. In two giant leaps, the magic pony carried Ivan to the far away sea where they quickly found the whale. Oh, please, great whale. Please help us find the ring at the bottom of your sea. The giant whale agreed to help Ivan search for the ring, but on one condition. It seems that for several years, the whale had had a gigantic tummy ache. And if Ivan could cure him, he would find the ring. Ivan and his pony quickly agreed and soon learned that the cause of all the whale's trouble was the many ships and other debris that he had swallowed over the years. Ivan grabbed his pony's tail and began to tickle the great whale's nose. <laughs> the great for whale quickly ordered all of the creatures of the deep to look for the missing ring. <laughs> I've got it. Ha, ha, ha. I've found it. But still, the princess would not agree to marry the wicked ruler. She made one last request. But, uh, but you, you can't mean it. Your Highness, you are already an old man, and I have just turned 17. My final request is that you make yourself young again, the same age as Ivan. Uh. If you do that, I will marry you. The wicked ruler turned to Ivan once more for help, and he was told that if he soaked himself in three vats of boiling milk, he could become young again. Aye! If I have to do it, I have to do it. But first, I'd better warm up. Wandu, wandu, wandu. Okay. Oh, hmm, this could be some sort of trick. It was his idea to let Ivan try it first. Guard, the stable boy. Wait, the magic may not work for me. Your Highness, you can't mean it. Don't do it. Don't worry, leave it to me. The magic pony dipped his tail into the boiling milk and swished it around twice. Ivan, go ahead now. It's all right. Yeah! Ah! Ah! No one can survive a boiling cauldron like that. I guess I was pretty smart to make him go in first. Oh, what's what happening? happening? It was Ivan. He had been magically transformed into a tall and handsome young man. Ivan! When the ruler saw what had happened, he ran and jumped into the boiling milk. Ooh. Ouch! You just keep telling yourself it's not hot! <laughs> okay, guards! Oh, ouch! Oh, close the lid! Several minutes passed, but still the czar did not appear. But then, from inside the pot, the ruler had been too greedy and stayed in the magic milk too long. He had turned into a little baby.
Not long thereafter, the handsome Ivan and the princess were married. As for the wicked ruler, he was now a cute little baby, and Ivan and his bride raised him as though he was their own.